And Mine Crypto here, I hope we're all having a wonderful day and the title of the video is You Don't Realise a major shift is coming. Please like and subscribe. Remembering none of this is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor and none of the information provided here should be a signal to buy or sell. So first and foremost, we look at these crypto bubbles as we normally do. We are down one rank to 50 with a market cap of $1.19 billion with a 24 hour volume of $27 million and currently sitting under that $100 mark at $98.39. And we can see we are 0.7% down in the hour, down 1.6% in the day, down 4.8% in the week, but up 2.7% in the month. But lots going on in the market at the moment. We will talk about that in a moment. But as we can see here, exchange reserves are plummeting. So people, because of the news with regards to Binance and CZ yesterday and him resigning, we can see that the reserves are down to 1.39 million and it's coming down all the time because obviously people are starting to worry where they store their crypto. Um, I could see this continuing to drop as we have that net, that net flow total declining and as you can see here, the, the numbers coming down, obviously the price is following with it, unfortunately. But in correlation to this, we can see we've had a massive increase in new wallets created. That I'm guessing that's because people are leaving the exchanges and actually moving to cold wallets or warm wallets. So all looking kind of like drab as usual, sideways movement. But if we go back here, we can see the relative strength index is oversold so rsi indicates an oversold condition where 76 percent of price movement in the last two weeks have been down and a trend reversal could occur so there i see lots of talk of people saying that that is possible but we see this Binance CEO CZ steps down as part of a $4 billion settlement with the US. I'm not going to go into it, but it has caused a big furore within the market. Whether it is bearish or bullish, we'll soon find out. But I see this from Travis Kling, and I think it's really important. I'm hearing lots of talk with regards, did BlackRock take down Binance? You know, Larry Fink wants to be the number one, maybe clearing out um, the competition. Now, Travis Kling here says lots of chatter on this BlackRock Bitcoin ETF and rightfully so. And this was back in June 16th, 2023. So great foresight here. And he says BlackRock more or less is in the US government. They also received approval of 575 out of 576 ETF applications. One thing I'll say, there is no chance, I mean zero chance that this ETF is approved with Binance in its current position of the market dominance. If this ETF is approved, Binance is either gone entirely or their role in price discovery is massively diminished if Binance holds on to its current level of influence no chance this ETF is approved now with that in mind it really severely makes you think is this being a play we know regulations are coming in they have to come in for the big boys to start playing and I see this from Miles Bron following up on that narrative Quan regulation narrative is growing and it really really is and you can see that by LCX is thriving in this environment right now and we all know why. So we also see this from Quentin Eason last night. There is about to be a major shift to compliant tokens and project teams. If you're invested heavily into projects that are not and he hint 89%, I would start de-risking now before the herd. Here are three projects that have been focused on compliance since day one. And he talks about NXRA, he talks about HBAR, Quant, and obviously I've talked about LCX. These are all set to 100 to 200x as clean, fresh capital finds trust and pours into the ecosystem. He says, don't get behind. If you have ever been rugged, that's what's about to happen to pump and dump projects. And to be fair, I couldn't agree more. I think they've come for the big boys. They've come for finance. They've come now for Kraken. We've seen everything that's gone on with FTX, the terror situation, and we are now seeing the last of the big starting to fall and starting to align with the legacy 
systems whether good or bad the money is coming regulation has to happen before that happens and this is where i almost think they will start eventually coming for the smaller fish in the pond and that will be the tokens themselves the teams themselves the blockchains that aren't regulated and aren't following the rules and we can see this foresight from the man himself this is the 2023 rbi forecast quant gilbert verdi ceo and founder of quant discusses 2023 trends and forecasts with rbi editor douglas blakely and we can see this dlt 2023 out of the blocks blockchain use cases abounded in 2022 and we've only scratched the surface of what this transformative technology can achieve what's coming down the track in 2023 for the interplay between distributed ledger technology and the financial services sector there will be agreement that unregulated crypto experiment has failed with the collapse of ftx the crypto winter and breaking of the terry ust's peg 2022 has been a challenging year for the crypto sector consumers were attracted to this volatile asset class which offers steep returns compared to the traditional markets but the collapse that followed served as a potent reminder of why we have financial regulation in place to protect people 2023 will call for more stringent rules which will turn into demands governments and regulators will realize they can no longer expose customers to unsupervised exchanges there's the word unsupervised exchanges who seemingly had a license to print money and generate steep losses for those who could least afford it furthermore the size of cryptocurrency has grown significantly it is now has the ability to act as a contagion to the rest of the financial system triggering concerns from regulators who need to act and mitigate risks with appropriate rules recognizing the need for regulation is one thing designing agreeing to and implementing is quite another we can take an example from the eu is leading the space its markets in crypto assets regulation which is mika bill serves as a solid example of comprehensive regulatory framework additionally as the crypto world becomes more stead and sensible layer two technologies that were hastily and poorly designed will start to disappear hence talking about who they'll be coming for next the more useful and usable networks will be left intact stronger than ever the hype will die down and crypto enthusiasts may well turn their attention to other use cases for blockchain utility <laughs> they will likely continue to look for assets with low barrier to entry part of crypto's appeal tokenization offers improved access to illiquid assets for example in cases where startup funding is limited to small pool of sophisticated lps tokenization and the right regulatory framework will enable smaller investors new promising opportunities and then we see moreover the loss of confidence in unregulated market participants has triggered a flight to safety investors want to pursue their return with experience regulated institutions that offer access to crypto assets whilst protecting their users and capital with proper insight so this is becoming very very interesting as we can see here the links between chains will be strengthened improving trust and this is what it's all about to bring the legacy in we have to improve the trust and where does overledger come in well it's that layer it sits there as a trust layer for the legacies for the big money to come in so he says in 2023 we will see widespread introduction of some of these cyber security principles and safe custody solutions with regulations catching up instead of an infrastructure overhaul we will see additional security controls and protections wrapped around existing infrastructure and digital asset implementation an api based blockchain gateway bridging solution using these principles can perform much of the functionality needed for tokenization interoperability and settlement needed by exchanges and here is the man himself gilbert verdian and as i said before the narrative is changing it's moving towards the regulatory legislative arena so we will find they've dealt with the big boys who is next on their list and i wouldn't put it past them to start looking at regulations that now wipe out quite a few of those 
non-regulated the wild west of crypto to be wiped out with one fell swoop just a change in legislation a change in regulation will do that and people will be swarming because i believe the utility season is about to begin let me know in the comments what you think which direction do you think this is going in remember none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor as you know i'm here to bring you the news and try to connect the dots keep you motivated keep myself motivated as well <laughs> so there you go guys please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos all the best 